Hello and welcome to Formula Talk, where today we will be looking at F1 Academy for this weekend. Before we go into everything, we just have a quick sponsor segment to read out, and we would like to thank our sponsor, Bet Online. So, Bet Online is your number one source for all your basketball info, stats, news, and scores. Get the latest odds and lines and the latest matchup reports with this year's NBA basketball playoffs. Bet Online is your sports Intel headquarters this season, as we have you covered for all your insider sports wagering needs. From basketball, MLB, NHL hockey, golf to UFC and boxing. The fastest and easiest way to get your betting info, including live betting options and your favorite casino and card games available to play right now from your home. Get into the action today. So head to the website or use your mobile device to join and be sure to use our promo code BLEAV, that is B-L-E-A-V, to receive your 50% bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, where the game starts. Now now that the sponsored segment, if you like, is out the way, just to give everybody a quick update or to, or to give all of you listeners and viewers a uh, just just a quick sort of head up as, as to what's going on. So Sophia and I recorded the show, and she, she's still here. Don't, don't worry, I'm just I'm just recording this after the fact. Um, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, the Imola weekend and the Imola region has been heavily impacted by uh, quite severe flooding. First of all, myself and everybody out from Chronicle, we'd like to send our thoughts and best wishes to everybody involved. It's not an easy thing that that the region is going through, and we hope that that everything can get can get resolved quickly and that and that no nobody gets hurt. Sophia and I recorded a Imola preview yesterday, being the sixteenth of May. We recorded it in the evening UK time when. It was when when there were rumours floating around that the weekend may be postponed or altered. So as a result, we recorded a whole show that was edited and ready to be published, including F2, F3 um, for Imola. And we also then talked about Formula Academy. So this episode might look a little bit different. If, if you're watching or if you're listening, you're probably thinking, well, Sophia's voice has changed. No, it is, it is me. It's Tom. Um, just to drop a quick update to say that this episode what originally was going to be F2 and F3 and Formula Academy is now just Formula Academy. So, as always, thank you ever so much for listening. I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to leave us a five-star rating wherever you listen or, you know, five-star review. As always, Grid Talk is available on YouTube, where most things are recorded live. And one day this will be live. I know we keep promising it. It will, I promise. But you can also find us on Amazon Fire. Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple, Verbal, and Pocket Cast. Just search for Formula One Grid Talk or Formula One, or sorry, or Formula Talk, and you will find us, and you'll find our entire back catalogue. As always, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon so we can get better mic slides and recording equipment. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you, you are the first to know when each new episode is live. We will be back next week, I believe, to um, to review F1 Academy and then preview Monaco for F2 and F3. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and thank you so much for listening. F1 Academy, that's finally back for the fourth round out of seven. And we are going to, sorry, third round out of seven. And we are going to Barcelona, which is one of the tracks that they've been testing quite a lot in. And pre-season and during season so first time ever racing obviously uh there is no fastest lap obviously as well the circuit length is 4.675 kilometers now they've done it the similar style as valencia where they have three practices on the friday qualifyings on the saturdays and two races on the saturday and one feature race on the sunday so very different to how speedwork was when it was only a two-day weekend of racing um i'm not really going to go for most of the times because the 15 minute intervals except for the races but i mean the first race starts at three o'clock on saturday and not three o'clock two o'clock on saturday and then on sunday at 10 o'clock so it's overlapping f2 and f3 again which we've discussed this multiple times it, I, I don't understand the youtube like i, I understand like just proper clubs on youtube and we'll see because like i said this Barcelona, I think Monza and France all tie in the same time as F1. I think the next one, when they go to Zandvoort, 
in June is not an F1 weekend, but I need to double check that. But I don't think it is. I know uh, when they're in France, it is one, which is the end of July. And then obviously in Austin, they race with F1. But we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping it should be good. But let's make some predictions for it. In our previous episode, we did talk about the standing. So if you want the full standing rundowns and how well Valencia went, you can check our previous episode as well. But Tom, give me your poll, give me your top three, and give me your bold for F1 Academy. Okay, right. At it, no, they're not at Imola, are they? We just talked about this. They're at, they're at a Barcelona. Um, Ends with an A. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, look, it's in Europe, okay? It's more than the UK. Um, so, yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm not going there. Oh, da, 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 da. I think pole position, I'm backing Bianca. Bianca, I think she's going to do it. You know, I, I'm going to put her down for pole and for the win. I'm doing that. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. You know, she, you know she's. You know, she's... Are you going to say it for both poles? Because there's two qualifying as well. Oh, yes. Now Just throw another spanner in the works for works. it. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to say. So I'm going to go a bit left field. I'm going to say Abby Pulley might get pole because if you look at some of her testing times, she was putting in some seriously quick laps. <laughs> pulling was pulling. <laughs> look, look, I'm older than you. I'm the one who's supposed to be doing the dad jokes. Um, you don't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, <laughs> you thought she just said it. And anyway, I do apologise, right. everybody who's listening, if you're still listening. Yes. No. So then, for I certainly don't think we're going to see the the, the same podium. You, you know, mm-hmm. I, I think you know, F and Academy is really, really close, and you know, all, all the drivers are, are, do, are doing pretty damn well. So, I'm going to say first podium is going to be Bianca, and then I think we're going to have. Um, oh God! I never get the two, I never get the two sisters to write me around. Um, I can say Hamza Al Kubasi for the one uh, for for podium, and then I'm going to say Chloe Grant. You know, I, you know, I just wonder. You know, she might sort of like escape some sort of midfield melee or off off the line, and then looking looking at the second podium, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bat my pole position. Can say Abby Pulling is is going to win, and then. Okay, I'm going to slightly renege on what I said. I think Hamdal could basically another podium. You know, you know, she, you know she's she's been looking really, really consistent, and she's shown some really good race pace as well. You know, especially in the testing programs. I know you don't take everything from testing, but um, and then I'm also going to say, you know, I'm I'm going to really put my really put out that, and I'm going to say Hamdal could basically as well. I think we're, I think we're going to have a, a sister podium. Okay. And in the final race? Oh, God. So I, I, three. <laughs> I, 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 I know, yeah. Um, you, you've forgotten, like, two names that have been quite on the podium. One of them's won three out of the six races so far. I know. I know, and you know, I, you know, you know. Again, I'm, I'm manifesting. You know, just, you know, just, just, just get, getting, getting some, you know, di- getting, getting some different results. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't know. But no, I, I uh, I'd, I'd say race three. I th- I think you know I, I think it would be remiss not to say that um, Nerea Marti isn't going to get you know if not a podium, you know maybe even a win. So I'm I'm going I'm going to say um, Nerea Marti, uh, and then I'm going to say Hamdal Kubasi and um, who am I going to put? I'm going to say Marta Garcia as well. So as I was waiting so <laughs> for you to yeah, say Marta just, Garcia, just given, keeping you keeping you on your toes. Since she's the one that's won three out of the six races so far, yeah. but fair I enough. Know, yeah. What about your bold, random bold prediction? <laughs> um, over the course of the weekend, every driver scores a point. Stop! <laughs> I was literally about to think about that because there's only one ha, driver who is right, not here we go, here we, that. Yeah, right here, right here. I'm not going to do you, it now. You, you can't. You, nope. you can't. You cannot steal that one. I'm not going to. But that was literally the one because there's only there's one driver um, who has no points whatsoever and is not scored at all. Um, and I was looking at that, and then there's also a few drivers that only scored points one out of the three races. So I was looking at that. It's an interesting one. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna copy you like what you did to me. <laughs> but oh, right. Let's see. Pole position. I think it will. Qualifying one will be Marta Garcia. I think 
qualifying two will be Lena Bullock as a left field one a bit. And then for the races, race one, I think it will be Marta Garcia, uh, Hamda, and Jessica Edgar as my podium. Race two, let's go with Bianca gets another win for to add to her trophy list as P1, followed by Nerea Marti and Marta Garcia P3 to round up that. And then the final race, I think, let's go a little bit, mm, I was about to say, let's go a little bit wild. I think it will be Hamda taking P1. I think her sister will take P2 and they'll make it the MP Motorsport 1-2, which is obviously not my bold prediction, but my F3 prediction. And then I will go a little bit random and I will say Emily Duhus will be P3 in race three. She's currently 14th out of 15th on the standing. So we'll see. I, I think it's a little bit of a little left field one. Bold. Hmm. I think because of my podiums, I can't do what I was thinking of. And it would be a different team for each position. Oh, let, let's go basic. No DNFs. Oh, um, no, no, no. Actually, I'm going to change it. No penalties because every single race and every single round so far in F1 Academy, there's been a penalty of some sort either during the races, post-race, or in qualifying. So my entire bowl prediction that ent- this entire weekend in Barcelona, there is no penalties. Track limits is a different story. But actual penalties and time penalties, I say there's not going to be any of them. I hope not even though it makes it slightly interesting for when you're reading it. <laughs> but, yeah. What else? I mean, there's, there's a few other most sport races. We have Freca back in for round two. We have the European Porsche Super Cup as well this weekend. IndyCar, we have um, Indy 500 testing starting now as well, um, leading up to it as well. What else? There's a, there's a handful of uh, different racing motorsports, and I wish we could cover all of them, but might do some one-off episodes throughout the season, especially when we have those long breaks for F2 and F3 and F1 Academy to kind of deep dive in some of the other series a bit more. But yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Or am I missing, am I missing anything? No, that's everything. Okay. Well, I think it's perfect time to then wrap up. But so if you've enjoyed this podcast, we would love it if you would take five to leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and a five-star rating on Spotify. And if you're one of the 72% of people who have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider helping us out with a like, subscribe, share, or follow. So Formula Talk is available on YouTube. Once again, where most episodes will be recorded live, still in the process of getting that set up. <laughs> it might be at the end of the season, just a one-off YouTube episode. But, <laughs> but I, you can I, also... I think that's what they call a special. Yeah, we'll do a special YouTube special. We'll do that instead. <laughs> I'll cut it out every time then, or just let it keep on running. But you can also find us on Amazon Fire, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Music, Verbal, and Podcast. Just search Grid Talk for our backlog of shows, as we are a part of the F1 Chronicle Grid Talk shows, which you can find all the F1 related article, um, F1 related discussions. Um, that is about pretty much qualifying reviews, uh, race reviews, and just overall previews of the F1 season. Please consider supporting the channel on Patreon so we can get mics, lights, and better recording equipment. And again, make sure you subscribe so you're the first one to know when each new weekly episode is released. We'll be back soon next week to review all this racing and also to preview potentially another round because I believe, yeah, it's a double... It, yeah, it's a d- triple header, sorry, for F2 uh, with Mar- with Monaco and Barcelona right after. And F3 is also a triple header as well. So we'll be reviewing Imola and previewing Monaco in our next episode. Just want to say thank you, Tom, for joining me as always. You're welcome. Apologies, I've been an absolute mess today. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, we'll be back soon with plenty more F1 content, Formula Talk content. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.